Hello everyone, Berserker here and welcome to this video in which I decided to do something different. I'm going to be doing a few quizzes here about the Vikings to just test out my knowledge about the Vikings. Um, a couple of days ago I mentioned that I'm making kind of a special video thing uh, that I'm preparing. And I guess this is this kind of hints towards what the video will be. Uh, but yeah, once again I just felt like doing something different and I was like, why not do some quizzes? So. Uh, I found a few quizzes that uh, I decided to do and once again just test my knowledge about the Vikings, give you some information and uh, yeah, why not? So let's start with it. This is uh, Fact Monster, apparently never been on this website before but apparently they have some quizzes here. And this one is about the Vikings so let's uh, let's do it. So question number one, what advantage did narrow longboats give to the Vikings? So they were shallow and light to carry, they were huge and heavily gunned, they were shallow but too heavy to carry, they could only sail in deep water. Uh, they were shallow and light to carry. The fact that they were so light gave uh, the Vikings a very nice advantage because they would usually sail uh, rivers and they would disembark. Uh, they would chop some trees and transport the ships on trees by land, uh, which gave them a really, really nice advantage because that was something that uh, most ships actually couldn't do. And this quiz is bugging out on me. I'm not sure what's going on, but it just doesn't load. Okay, so I was correct. Viking longboats were helpful for surprise attacks. They were narrow and shallow enough to sail up rivers and streams and were light enough to carry over land. So, exactly what I said. Uh, what kind of bird appeared on Viking flags? Uh, that would be the raven. Uh, raven is a very sacred symbol for the Vikings. Uh, Odin had two ravens, Hugin and Munin, and they, they're usually uh, symbols of knowledge because he would usually send those uh, two ravens over the... Um, over Midgard and he would gather knowledge about you know what's going on stuff like that so uh, Ravens were known for their ability to find land yeah they also use them to find land common practice during the Middle Ages not with just Ravens but other birds as well which countries began as three Viking kingdoms uh, this would be Denmark Norway and Sweden pretty self-explanatory I don't think I need to give any further information about this when the Vikings reached the peak of their civilization circa 1000 their territories and trade routes extended uh, from the uh, Eastern Mediterranean to the shores of Nor Nor North America uh, present-day Newfoundland Canada this distant this is a distance of uh, uh, four thousand six hundred fifty five point five miles that's miles come on go for kilometers um, question number four when a wealthy Viking died what was uh, she or he placed inside before burial that would be a ship so they would usually put him in a ship and they would burn the ship if it was a Viking they would usually uh, put their wife in there as well they had a really uh, weird tradition uh, where if a Viking man died they would like put his body in a ship they would set, set the ship on fire and they would put his wife in there as well so she would burn alive but before that, all of his most trusted men would, well, sleep with her. So that was a tradition with the Slavs as well. I think some Slavic tri tribes did pretty much the same thing as well. Uh, Vikings believe that the ship, uh, ship graves uh, gave the deceased comfortable journey of um, to the land of the dead. So yeah, true. They will usually put um, weapons in their armor and uh, other um, objects that they would think the dead would need in the afterlife. Uh, which Norseman Norwegian discovered America? That would be Leif Erikson. He is uh, Eric the Red's son, and he found America. Uh, Lance, o uh, that's French. Uh, Lance Ox Meadows, I guess how you pronounce that. I'm so bad at French. Uh, historic site of Canada uh, is the site of the oldest known European settlement in North America. Many historians and archaeolo archaeologists speculate that the Norse settlement is uh, the one founded by Leif Erikson. Uh, circa 1004 so yeah um, it wasn't just one journey uh, that's actually a topic that I can talk a lot about but the Vikings usually sailed to uh, sail to America uh, and they would call it Vinland because they would um, there would be vines which would be kind of a resource that the Vikings use for uh, several things uh, but they leave especially try to establish a colony there uh, they didn't really get along with the natives and that's the reason why they left we didn't really know much about it, but the knowledge that we got our, that we gather from the sagas uh, pretty much tells that um, they had kind of a quarrel with the natives, so they, you know, um, you know, they didn't get along, so the Vikings got to leave. Uh, natives in what in what North American land were attacked by Freydis, Eric, Eric's daughters, and her warriors? Well, 
that would be Newfoundland because this is where the settlement was. I'm not exactly sure about that, but should be Newfoundland because once again, that was a place where the Vikings usually went when they went to America. Uh, and that's the place where they try to establish a colony. So my guess is Newfoundland. Yeah, that would be correct. Freydis, the daughter of Eric the Red, also defeated two of her brothers for control of a Viking colony. I didn't know that. Okay, that's nice knowledge. Uh, Vikings, Viking warriors believed in Valkyries. What were they? They were um, warrior daughters of the Viking god Odin. Uh, warrior daughters of the Viking goddess Freya. That would be the one. Yeah, there are, they were females. Uh, the Valkyries and yeah, they're associated with Freya usually not Odin uh, Although they would take the um, Dead Viking warriors to Valhalla usually, but yeah, they're daughters for sure uh, Either of Odin or Freya, but my guess is Freya. Oh No, they were actually were daughters of the god Odin. Okay, that makes sense. Not a huge mistake though I made one mistake, but it's not a huge mistake. Okay. When did the Vikings begin raiding uh, England and France? Uh, I'm really bad with uh, years, by the way. Uh, I know a lot about history, but when it comes to years, I'm, I'm really bad. But all of these... Uh, wait, I is it 520 AD? Or is it... Well, it should actually be 790 AD. It's the 8th century. Uh, it's considered to be the, the start of the Viking um, Age. And the Viking Age starts with the first raid of England, so my guess is this, simply because it's in the 8th century. Once again, I'm really bad with years. I'm really bad with years, so might be wrong on this. Uh, but yeah, I was right. Viking raids of England and France began around um, 790 AD. So yeah, the first raid of um, the first English uh, chapel that was raided by the Vikings, this is considered to be the start of the Viking Age. Uh, how many symbols are there in the Viking runic alphabet? Uh, so you have the Elder Futh Ark, but these are just old Germanic runes, they are not Viking runes. And you have the Younger Futh Ark, which are the Viking runes. But I'm not sure if they're 15 or 16, they're not a, they're not 1600, they're not 150, but I'm not sure if they're 16 or 15. My guess is 16, I know the Elder Futh Ark and they're about 20 something runes. Once again, the younger Futh Ark, which are considered to be the Viking runes, are a little bit less than that. So, my guess is 16, but could be 15 as well. Not sure. Okay, there are 16. Each runic symbol represents a Norse god or goddess. Yes, they do. Um, what Middle Eastern city uh, traded silver with the Vikings who prized it greatly? I'm not sure, but let's. Uh, it's not Constantinople. Constantinople is not a Middle Eastern city. Uh, Baghdad. Uh, is it Baghdad? I've never heard of those. Uh, this seems like Russian. I don't. I don't think this is in the Middle East either. Tehran could be, but I've never heard of that. So my guess is Baghdad, because it was. Uh, it was a fairly big city during the Middle Ages. So my guess is Baghdad. And I will be correct. Vikings saw the silver that was sold by Baghdad traders. Okay, so this is the first quiz. Uh, Ten questions. I got nine right and one wrong. Uh, well. The one wrong, I was close enough, but I didn't know the uh, Valkyries were daughters of Odin. Uh, I always thought they, they were somehow associated with uh, Freya, but apparently I was wrong with, say, with saying that. Okay, so we're gonna do another one. Uh, this is ProProfs.com. Uh, so let's start. What were the Viking thralls? These were slaves. Uh, the word thrall means slave uh, for the Vikings. Although slavery and Viking society was a little bit different than slavery the way we usually imagine it. They were mostly serfs, but um, they were, yeah, they, they were considered slaves. They were considered property, so I guess they, they would be slaves. Uh, but yeah, thrall uh, is the word for uh, slave in Old Norse. How many meals did Vikings eat daily? Uh, I have no idea. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea about... Well, I, I, I have an idea of what the Vikings uh, ate in general. What, what sorts of foods and stuff like that. But I have no idea as to how many times they ate. So one meal is not half an adult sized meal. I guess it depends on the season. Um, but... It's either two meals or four meals. I know they had breakfast, which was considered to be the most important dish of the day. 
but I'm not sure if it's four or two. I want to say two, although I think it's four. Let's risk it. I'm going to say two. Oh, I was correct. Nice. They actually ate two meals. I, I can't give you any background on that. I have no idea why. Uh, but I know that one was breakfast, and I, I guess the other one is like uh, dinner. I guess. Uh, when would Vikings have banquets? Well, uh, two times a week, special occasions. I guess that would be special occasions during holidays and stuff like that. They usually consider. Uh, they were more more like feasts is I guess the correct word but yeah they, they would usually have feasts uh, during holidays uh, you know they were they were celebrating certain uh, things such as uh, you know the start of the uh, start of the different seasons and stuff like that the harvest season whatever uh, but they would consider it you know they would um, they would celebrate uh, certain holidays like that and they would get drunk and eat a lot and eat the you know, mushrooms and stuff like that so yeah we're vikings raiders craftsmen traders all of the above pretty much all of the above yeah so the vikings weren't just the raiders uh a viking is generally considered someone who um sailed the seas pretty much and who traveled so they were craftsmen they will usually sell their goods to other people they would trade uh as we mentioned in the last quiz and of course they would raid certain parts of uh, the world especially western europe but of course um, other parts such as um, south europe north africa again they would call colonize north america so they were pretty much travelers uh, and they did all of those things uh, together uh, what is able children put to put to death at birth i'm not sure about that um I'm not I'm I'm really not sure I know that it wasn't a common practice in um, in West European societies during the Middle Ages to to do that um, but when it comes to the Vikings I've seen some movies in which they do that although these are movies so they're not generally historically accurate uh, but uh, I don't know I guess it depends on the kind of disability because uh, if you were blind it was considered as sign of wisdom not not in just uh you know more society but in other other cultures as well so uh let's go for false really want to believe that it's false nice okay so i guess it depends on the kind of disability but but it, generally in western europe it wasn't very a uh, very common practice to do that so uh yeah what do the vikings believe in it's spelled believe by the way that's believe which doesn't mean anything uh throwing sold over there there that's not how you spell there come on man come on, come on. Uh, over their left shoulder throwing sold over their right shoulder they were angels in different form none of the above i think it's one of those but i'm not sure over which shoulder i've read that in a book that they were superstitious and that's one of the things that that they would do is throw salt because that's actually a common practice still nowadays. It's a common superstition. It actually exists in Bulgarian culture as well in Bulgarian folklore. So I guess it's got some Indo-European roots. But uh, I'm not sure whether it's the left shoulder or the right shoulder. Uh, I'm gonna sail over the right shoulder. I don't know. Might be wrong. Yeah, none of the above. No, I've read about this. They believed in, in some superstition like that might be throwing salt not over the shoulder but they 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 did some sort of a superstition like that but i guess i was i was wrong i don't know i've just read about it so uh yeah what were the viking ships called we went through this uh they were called long boats so long bats really okay curated over countries that's not how you spell countries come on so really so many spelling mistakes Come on, you're, you're supposed to be like, I don't know, educational, an educational website and you have like, uh, spelling mistakes like that. Uh, over countries, uh, women, children, men, only people in the thing. What? Uh, that question doesn't make any sense. Um, it would be women and men as well. Uh, children, I guess not. Only people in the thing. Okay, a thing uh, means like a holiday in Old Norse. Uh, 
kind of like a feast that's what a thing means like a holiday but only people in the thing I'm, I'm not sure what that means but i'm gonna go for it man no there were there were women as well that's incorrect that's incorrect there there, there were women, women as well amongst the vikings okay i'm not sure about the uh accuracy of those answers because once again you know uh, i'm pretty sure there were uh, women that joined the viking conquest as well a lot of them even we have historical accounts of it so yeah th that was a wrong question what was the front of a viking ship it was uh usually a dragon's head yes it wasn't yeah yeah a dragon's head pretty much i guess they had some other shapes but the most typical one at least for the viking um uh, battleship is a dragon head could be a serpent head as well i, I don't see why not where did the Vikings come from? All of the above. They actually came from other parts of Europe as well, not just Scandinavia. The Vikings usually gather from all sorts of places. But yeah, this is where the most, like, um, uh, you know, the most famous Vikings came from. Scandinavia, so. Uh, who looked after the children? Nannies, thralls, slaves, women. Thralls and slaves is the same thing and usually for the nobles their kids would be raised for the most part by thralls and slaves although that's essentially the same thing but let's say thralls women no that's not right uh well in normal uh i guess in normal um uh, like in normal families yes they would be raised by the women um but when it comes to the nobles they were usually raised by trolls uh, by thralls uh, again we have historical accounts of that i've read about it so no i'm not sure about the accuracy of those uh those answers here who is odin really it's not Odlin, it's odin uh he was uh the chief god a part of the thing again i spell man i, I should have checked this quiz before i actually did it it's got so many wrong things with it what didn't uh the vikings do really oh wow raiding floundering is not a word it's plundering not floundering but yeah they certainly didn't watch tv that's that's a retorted freaking question how did the vikings eat um out of a grass made bowl no with hands yeah they usually ate with hands that's how it worked in uh medieval europe i guess some nobles used uh forks in spoons but in the viking society it was usually considered like the normal thing to eat with hands i'm not sure if some of them use knives and forks but they ate with hands for the most part okay so that's that i made some mistakes but again i'm not sure about the accuracy of those answers i'm th uh, um you know judging by how many spelling mistakes they did and uh you know i wouldn't generally trust a quiz like that i, I think they made quite a quite a few mistakes there so i'm not really happy with this one and just for the sake of it, just for the lols, I guess, we're gonna do uh, BuzzFeed's How Viking Are You? I hate BuzzFeed, I just wanna say that. I, I don't like BuzzFeed in general. Most of their stuff that they're posting and the videos they're making are really dumb. And they rely on stereotypes and stuff like that. But we're gonna do it, do it just for the sake of it. So let's see how Viking am I. Have you ever pillaged? <sighs> okay pillaged a lot mm-hmm you know that's a crime nowadays right you know that's a crime okay pillage when you don't really feel like it that's BuzzFeed for you. that's why I don't like BuzzFeed but let's pretend these are not questions been on a ship yes I've been on a ship several times been on a ship to go pillaging again that's a crime people don't do that nowadays well I guess some of them do uh, but no uh, been on a boat in a storm wasn't a boat, it was a ship, but it was a fairly small ship, and it was not a pleasant experience. Seasickness was real. Uh, I've actually been on a boat as well during a storm. Yeah, it's not pleasant, but yeah, I've, I've done it. Had a helmet without horns. Again, a very retarded question. I guess they want to uh, emphasize on the fact that the Vikings didn't wear horn helmets, but yes, I've had a helmet without horns. Cooked meat over an open fire, coughing in the smoke not sure what that's supposed to mean but no i haven't eaten, done that eaten mutton uh no no i haven't actually done that 
Eden gold. Yes, I have tasted gold meat. I don't like it, uh, but I've tried it. Eden beef. Yes. Eden a boar. No, never eaten a boar. Eden an, a reindeer. Uh, reindeer. Again, I've eaten a normal deer, but not a reindeer. Um, eaten any of the any of the abo above uh, fresh out the bone? Um, no. Again, th these are really retarded, but I'm doing it just for the sake of it. We're gonna pretend this doesn't exist. Again, this is a ridiculously stupid question, but laugh roaringly. Who says that the Vikings laughed that way? Uh, no. Pray to Thor. No. Pray to Odin. No. Anticipated Valhalla. No. I guess I'm not gonna be very Viking in the end, I guess. In your darkest moments. Pray to Loki. No. Hand bl head blonde hair. Uh, yes. Uh, when I was a kid, actually, I, I used to have blonde hair, but it just changed over time. I guess you can't argue with genetics. My I had blue eyes as well. No, I don't have blue eyes anymore. Guess just genetics. But yeah, I, I used to have blonde hair when I was a kid. Uh, drank ale. No. Drank lots of ale. Wait, I've actually drank ale. Yes, I've tried ale. It's actually really good. Uh, drank lots of ale. No, haven't done that. Just a little bit. Drank... So ale much you accidentally went to North America. That's again a retarded question. It's misspelled as well. So I'll just ignore that. Quaffed mead. What does quaffed mean? Let me check that. So to quaff means to drink something, especially an alcoholic drink, heartily. Okay. Uh, not mead, but yeah. I no, I haven't tried mead. No, no. Quaffed as much alcohol as you could, as you possibly could. Yes, not gonna say anything more about that. Not a pleasant memory. Uh, looked up what quaffed means. Yes, I just did that. Well done, BuzzFeed. I, I, I give you kudos for that, though. Uh, overuse the word quaffed. No, never will. Uh, never have, never will. I wanted to make the terrible part of your name. The terrible wasn't usually a typical Viking name. The only person that was the terrible was Ivan the Terrible, and he was a Russian king, not a Viking. Um, uh, a Viking in general. So no, never wanted to have that. Been to Norway? Never been to Norway. Been to Sweden? Been to Denmark? Never been to Finland, but I want to go eventually. Finland's a pretty nice country. Norway as well. I want to visit all the countries from Scandinavia, um, including. Uh, uh, including like the Faroe Islands and Iceland as well all the Nordic countries I guess because Finland's not considered part of Scandinavia but it's uh, considered part of the Nordic countries below threats at your enemies beating your chest and calling down the fury of gods upon them again we're gonna pretend this doesn't exist a uh, worn fur have I worn fur uh, some sort of fur I should have worn it yeah uh, worn chainmail. Have I worn chainmail? Uh, I've seen chainmail, a chainmail vest. I, I try to make a chainmail vest myself, but it, it was gonna take too long and it was kind of a, a long process in general. But I don't think I've actually worn chainmail. I've seen chainmail, but I've never put it on me. Worn clothes that have been torn into many pieces in a fierce battle. That didn't happen. Again, that's a very bad stereotype, but yeah. Grunted unintelligibly uh, No, actually I have done that when I play CS and when I get uh, really frustrated I do that. So yeah Grown a beard. Uh, yes, I've tried to grow a beard. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the clean shaven look uh, Doesn't go too well whenever I try to do it, but I have tried to grow a beard. Yeah uh, Grown a massive beard. No, uh, I've never done that unfortunately Wanted to grow a massive beard. Yes. Yes. I I, I probably will do that at one point. Uh, grow a massive beard. Just kind of hard to do. I can't do it right now because, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, but but definitely will do it at one point. So let's see how Viking uh, I am. You scratched 15 of 15. What? You scratched off 15 out of 42 on this quiz. You're a bit Viking, but you need to read some more epic poetry and drink some more mead. <sighs> These are not even Viking shields. Like, uh. Buzzfeed, you, you. Okay, that's Buzzfeed for you. Uh, didn't make any sense at all. Uh, uh, it's just filled with the stereotypes about the Vikings, some of which are not even true. Uh, Buzzfeed is um, 
it's not a good website in general but yeah i just decided to do it just for the sake of it just wanted to see what kind of questions there are in there so uh yeah so uh 15 out of 42 if you might have given me a better answer instead of just 15 out of 42 i could have counted that you know but yeah it just says uh, you're a bit of viking okay i guess i'm a bit of viking then because i i've never uh, prayed to thor and uh, odin and anticipated valhalla makes sense makes sense buzzfeed okay so um that's gonna be it for this video hope you enjoyed it once again i try to do something a little bit different i have no idea how long this video will be but hopefully not too long uh so yeah wanted to test out some of my knowledge about the vikings turns out it's not that bad uh although according to Bu to buzzfeed i'm not i'm not very viking but hey i guess you gotta deal with that so yeah that's gonna be it once again i have a special video about the vikings uh, coming soon and uh yeah that's gonna be it and i'll see you next time goodbye